Hello friend. In this video, we are going to solve one simple program which is based on if else. So let's take a question. Our question is write a program to take one number from user as an input and find entered number is even or odd. Means in this program, we will take one number from the user and check entered number is even or odd. So our first question is what do we mean by even number and odd number? A number is divisible by 2 is called even number and example of even numbers are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 etc. is the example of even number. So what do we mean by odd number? A number which is not divisible by 2 is called odd number. Example 1, 3, 5, 7 etc. So our next question comes how we can write a program to find uh, a number is even or odd. So simple, this is a simple step. We divide the number by 2. We simply divide the number by 2. And if we get the remainder equal to 0. Means if we get the remainder 0. Means the number is divisible by 2. The number is completely divisible by 2. And if the number is divisible by 2, then number is a even number. Therefore, we will print entered number is a even number in a if part. Okay. And suppose... If the remainder is not equal to 0, if the remainder not equal to 0, means the number is not divisible by 2, okay. And if the number is not divisible by 2, means that number is a odd number. So that part we will, sorry, we will print odd number in a else part. So now our one more question comes, how we can find a modulus, how, sorry, how we can find a remainder. Answer is by using modulus operator. We can find the remainder by using modulus operator. Modulus operator gives the remainder. So and it is represented as percentage symbol. For example, here we have written a equal to 10. Value of a is initialized with 10. And in a line, we are writing a modulus 2. What do you mean by this expression or statement? The meaning of this expression is we divide the value of a by 2. Means we divide the 10 by 2. And we get the remainder 0. We get the remainder 0. And if we get the remainder 0. Means a number is divisible by 2. And number is a even number. And yes. A is a 10. Value of a is 10. And 10 is a even number. And suppose if we write like this. The what do you mean by this statement? We divide the 9 by 2 and we get the remainder 1. Here we are getting the remainder 1. Means the value of this equation is 1. And if the remainder is 1, then remainder is not equal to 0. And remainder is not equal to 0 means number is not divisible by 2. And if the number is not divisible by 2, means the entire number is a odd number. So we will print odd number here. So let's take a simple program. Some part of program I have already written here. So let's take a program. Our main program starts here with main function. And here we are declaring one integer variable n. Okay. In this variable we will store the number. When this statement will execute, one memory block will be occupied in our memory. And the name of this memory location will be n. Right now this location don't have any value. In a next line, we are printing enter a number. So this print tab will print enter a number in our output screen. Suppose this is our output screen. So here, uh, print tab will print enter a number. And how we can take a number from the user? By using scanner. And within the scanner, we have written percent %d. Means we want to take integer number from the user. We have, and we have written one time percent %d means we want to take one integer number. For example, if user will enter 10. Okay. So 10 will be stored at the address of n. At the address of n. Means here. The value of n will be 10. So now we know the number. Number is 10. And now we have to check the number is even or odd. So how we can check? By using if else. Okay. We write like this. n modulus 2. We will divide the number by 2. We divide the number by 2. And if the remainder is equal to 0. Okay. 
If the number is equal to zero, then we will print uh, number is a even. So here n is a value of n is ten, and we divide the ten by two. So we get the remainder zero. We get the remainder zero. So value of this equation is zero. Zero equal to zero means this condition is true. Zero equal to zero. This condition is true. If condition is true, means we will move inside the if block and if block will execute else will not execute so and one more point here the remainder is zero remainder is zero means number is divisible by two so we will print even number so here we will print even number okay so here the condition is true therefore we move inside the if and this printer will print even number okay so this is a uh, concept of even number but uh, friends user can also enter odd number for example if user will enter 9 then what will happen the value of n will be Nine, okay, and here what we will get? We will get remainder one. We will get the remainder one. Means the value of this equation is one, and here the condition becomes false. One can't be equal to zero. One can't be equal to zero. Means this condition is false, and if the condition is false. Then we will move in a else if part will not execute. Okay, and one more point here we are getting remainder one means remainder not equal to zero. Remainder not equal to zero, and if the remainder not equal to zero means number is not divisible by two, and number is not divisible to by two means number is a odd number. So therefore we will print print odd number in a else part. So in a else part we will print odd number. so this is a simple program and this printer will print odd number so in this way we can identify the number is entered by user is even or not and uh, friends if you need more videos related to computer science and information technology please like and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell button for latest notification